Hello, this is Watch All About with another video review. Uh, not a watch review this time, but rather a look back into 2019. Uh, I reviewed many a watch and I thought it would make sense. I know it's rather belated, so apologies for that. It would make sense to show you guys what I think are my top five watches of 2019. So without further ado, let's have a look what I've got in here. So, number five the Gruppo Gamma Vanguard. So what's uh, so special about this? Well, it's just a beautifully designed watch. Uh, special mentions include a Simona Di Stefano strap, which is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, it also has a very, very cool bronze uh, side guard to the case as well. And I've got the, um, the aged steel finish here. And let me tell you, you know, it is absolutely awesome. It's, unlike any other watch uh, that I own really, just sensational build quality as well. Some specs then include a 44mm diameter, so it is um, you know, reasonably large, 13.5mm uh, height, so it has a fair amount of, um, it's reasonably slender for the 44mm for the diameter as well. 54mm look to look, um, ETA 2824-2 movement as well, so great movement in there. 24mm lug width and it will cost you $900 or about £685. So genuinely an absolutely brilliant uh, watch that I still thoroughly enjoy. So that's number five. What's number four? Let's have a look. A watch that I only just reviewed a few weeks ago, right at the end of 2019, but it went straight into my top five, the Formex Essence. Now I reviewed the pre-Kickstarter campaign uh, version of the Essence. However, since uh, the Kickstarter was fully funded, uh, they've now gone into full production and this is the final production version and it is absolutely beautiful. Again, very different uh, style to anything else that I've seen. Formex have a great uh, job, do a great job at including quite a few funky patented um, aspects on their watches and the essence is just like all the others in that they have their really cool uh, suspended suspension case uh, but on top of that they've got a patented uh, buckle system as well so again you're getting loads of watch for your money uh, special mentions include the absolutely insane anti-reflective coating on the sapphire crystal i always find formex to be quite possibly the best uh, the, the clearest anti-reflective coating on a sapphire crystal in the budget range. Um, I can't find any other watch brand under a grand that do it as good as them. Um, and then of course the other special mentions are the, the painted parts of, of the watch. But you know the design of it, simple, uh, elegant, but it's still sporty as well. So you can really, really wear this in a variety of situations. And I think the build quality overall is just absolutely top notch. So specs include a 41 mil diameter, so quite a reasonable size, 13.9 mil height, 47.8 mil look to lug length. Uh, you also have a ETA 2824-2 movement in, in the essence as well. <clears throat> Price for this, obviously it's Swiss made, 710 pounds. So that's number four. How about number three? Well, this, watch absolutely demolished kickstarter the hampton kraken h2 and in actual fact only just today have i received my kraken which uh, was ordered during that kickstarter campaign ross is a lovely guy and to be honest he completely underestimated how popular this watch would be i reviewed this exact watch so I ordered the exact same watch that I reviewed just because I absolutely adored it. I'm not that fussed about white watches but this one tell you what really does it's absolutely striking and the build quality is sensational for the price as well. The pledges started at £199 and you can understand why they just literally flew out of the door. I think Ross got about one and a half thousand orders so it really does tell you something that a lot of people put a lot of faith in this watch and they are definitely, uh, they're not gonna be uh, upset when they get their watches through, let's just say that. Um, so these are literally just starting to, to be sent out. Poor old Ross has had a lot of work on his hands, so fair play to him. Specs, 41 mil diameter, 
13.9 mil height, 47.8 mil look to lug length. You also get a Seiko NH35 movement as default, or you can spend an extra 100 quid and get a Sleater SW200-1, which is a pretty nice, uh, obviously, add-on. 22 mil lug width. Um, special mentions, well, <laughs> yeah, um, it actually is entirely coated in a hardened scratch resistant coating. The tight is, well, first of all, it's made of titanium, but because titanium is a little bit softer than, um, than steel, it is beautifully light, really comfortable to wear. But because titanium does tend to scratch a bit, Ross has applied a special clear, uh, basically a clear DLC kind of coating to it to increase the scratch resistance of it. So you are getting, you know, a lot of, a lot of watch for your money in that way. Great unique design as well, really bold and modern, which I really love about it. Very different to everything else uh, out there. And just the build quality in general for the price is very, very good. So that was number three. Let's have a look at number two. So the Perpetual, Perpetual Watch SC-03. Now let me tell you, Perpetual Watch Perpe uh, the website is perpetual-watch.com. They are definitely one of my all-time favorite brands because they offer such amazing watches for the money. And uh, their latest release, the SC03, no different at all. Let me just tell you some of the specs. Uh, Siegel ST1701 movement, so you get an automatic movement. It has um, sapphire crystal, naturally, domed sapphire crystal. Um, an enamel dial, so not just your regular dial, it also has heat treated blued hands as well. Now, hands, blued hands on cheaper affordable watches are usually either chemically blued or just painted blue. However, these are heat treated, that is more costly and it takes a lot more effort to actually make them blue using the application of heat. Price, a mere $180, which is just absolutely mind blowing. The amount of watch for that much money is unbelievable. Um, some specs then, 40 mil in diameter, obviously it is a lot smarter uh, in terms of design. It may not be for everyone's taste, it is very elegant uh, in design, especially with the, uh, the numerals. 12 mil height, 48 mil look to look length, uh, and it's got a 20 mil uh, look width as well. So, you know, that's slightly under 150 pounds, $200. So, absolutely stunning. Uh, but yeah, like I say, the, you know, the design isn't for everyone, but if you do dig it, just check out perpetual-watch.com uh, perpetual and if you dig any of the watches, then I would highly recommend buying any of them. So finally, that was number two. What is number one? Well, let me get it out. So it is the Christopher Ward Trident Mark III. So yes, the price has gone up from the Trident Mark II, However, the build quality is genuinely like no other watch in this price bracket. So it comes in, RRP is £795. But let me tell you, from top to bottom, it is just on a whole other level than alternatives from other Swiss-made brands. Obviously, it is Swiss-made. The movement is a Sleater SW200-1. Um, 600 meters water resistance, so you are getting genuinely a great diver but on top of that you've got just a beautiful glossy dial i mean i think that really transforms the look of the watch a lot of people were miffed about the wave dial uh, disappearing with this glossy dial no problems whatsoever it has got a beautiful reflective zirconia ceramic bezel insert as well so again that reflects in the light just looks top notch and the general attention to detail all over is is just beautiful uh, many people will be continuing to whinge about the logo. The logo is here to stay. Um, and I think in this instance, it looks perfectly fine. You've got the twin flag emblem uh, just uh, in the center of the top half as well. It's just absolutely beautiful. This is a 40 mil version as well. Um, the, the shape of the case is gorgeous. And the 40 mil size is just perfect for me. I've got a seven inch wrist. So 40 mil diameter, 12.95 height, look to look length of 47.46 millimeters to be precise uh 20 mil look width as well and it's just my favorite watch full stop overall at the moment um obviously i don't have any expensive watches or grail watches but from you know from a affordable point of view this is just 
blown every other watch that I've ever owned out of the water. So I'm that impressed with it and I love it that much. It is without doubt my favorite watch of 2019. So there we go, so quick recap. Number five, Grupo Gamma Vanguard. Number four, the Formex Essence. Number three, the Hampton Kraken H2. Number two was the Perpetual SC03. And number one, the Christopher Ward Trident Mark III. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'd highly recommend any, any of these five watches, really. Obviously, there's a variety of budgets there as well. Cheapest being £150, $200 all the way up to the most expensive, you know, around 800 quid, that's the Christopher Ward. Really, you can't go wrong with any of them. So that was my top five watches of 2019. Obviously, I plan to uh, review many, many watches in 2020, so let's see what this year uh, brings to the table. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you around. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and also comment your thoughts below. So thank you very much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.